Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for good Dr. Atahar Parveen. So here I am with the most requested child development and pedagogy. Uh, this is the question paper which I am going to solve. This is from Karnataka TET 2024 question paper. And uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe right now. And also like this video if you are liking my work and share it among your friends and other aspirants. So on this note, let us start uh, first question which is question number 61 the question is principle of dominance and segregation related to theory of heredity is given by the options are galton mendel darwin and lamarck so the correct answer is mendel so cb method aspirants will be knowing it very better because mendel had worked a lot in heredity okay especially related to uh, dominance and uh, segregation uh, his uh, theory of heredity is very famous friends the answer case which i am giving in this video 99 percent answers will be correct maybe one or two answers uh, may not be correct because uh, pedagogy is uh, such a uh, subject where uh, there are always some uh, different type of conclusions for few type of questions so uh, from each perspective the answer may change for particular question so that's why now maybe one or two answers maybe you will not agree with what i am giving so you can feel free to write it down in the comment section and if we uh, find it uh, that your answer is better than our answer then uh, we will mention it in the comment section and we will pin it to help other aspirants okay so let us see next uh, question number 62 rate of growth and development in childhood is rapid in early childhood and slow in later childhood slow in early childhood and rapid in later childhood so i think no need to go for next options option two will be the correct answer here because uh, rate of growth is uh, normally slow in early childhood and uh, it will become uh, rapid in later childhood next question number 63 learning appropriate sex roles is the developmental task of early childhood later childhood early adolescence later adolescence i think later adolescence should be the correct answer to this question next question number 64 one of the following is not an aspect of cognitive development sensation and perception concept formation development of language changes in body proportion i think changes in body proportion will be the correct answer for this question because uh, the question is they are asking one of the following which is not an aspect of cognitive development in cognitive development we will get uh, all these three aspects sensation and perception concept formation and development of language that's why option 4 will be the correct answer next question number 65 the relationship between intelligent quotient iq and emotional quotient eq in terms of success in life is so eq is more important than iq iq is more important than eq eq and iq have no effect eq and iq influence equally so i first thought that maybe option 4 will be correct because eq and iq are influencing equally uh, for a person uh, to get success in life but then uh, i had to do some research on this question uh, i concluded that this is the correct option for this question eq is more important than iq uh, if you have a better explanation for some other uh, option from this four please write it in the comment section okay but uh, as per my knowledge option one is the correct answer to question number 65 next question in thorndike's laws of learning the law of use and disuse law of use and disuse are associated with i think this is a law of exercise next question programmed instruction is the contribution of classical conditioning learning operant conditioning learning insightful learning social learning i think this uh, programmed instruction means uh, 
this was given by Skinner, uh, if I am not wrong. Uh, the correct answer should be operant conditioning learning. Okay. Next, question number 68. In Pavlov's uh, classical conditioning learning theory, ringing of bellies, natural stimulus, conditioned stimulus, natural response, conditioned response. Correct answer should be conditioned stimulus. This was actually related to uh, food, right? So, the bell was uh, uh, fitted after being associated with the food. So, that's why it is a conditioned stimulus. Question number 69. The correct order of three dimensions of a Guilford model of intellect is contents, operations, products, products, operations, contents, operations, contents, products. I think option 3 will be the correct answer to this question. Next question. Raven's progressive matrices test is a, it is actually one of the type of a intelligence test. Raven's progressive matrices test. Okay. So, option 4 will be the correct answer here. Next, question number 71. Theory of personality developed by Sigmund Freed is. So, here the options are individual psychology theory, analytical psychology theory, uh, psychoanalysis theory, motivation theory. So, I think the correct answer is psychoanalysis theory. Option 3. Next, the eighth category of Robert M. Gagne's classification of learning is. Concept learning, verbal associative learning, SR learning, problem solving learning. So, there are 8 classifications, uh, I mean categories related to the classification of learning. Uh, I think the 8th one is problem solving learning. So, option 4 will be the correct answer. Next question. Acceleration is an educational program for gifted children, creative children, backward children in learning, normal children. Actually, this is gifted children. Acceleration is an educational program uh, for gifted children where the education is uh, given in a quicker manner to the gifted children so that they get improved in a better manner in terms of education. Okay. Next question number 74. Mathematics learning facilitates the learning of physics formulas in a better way. This is an example for positive transfer. This is famous thing only. See, uh, if a learner is uh, good in mathematics, then this will help uh, in physics also in a better manner. Option 2 will be the correct answer. Next, question number 75. Variation in letter formation, inconsistent space and irregular alignment are the key characteristics of dyslexia, dyscalculia, dysgraphia, dyspraxia. So, this type of a problem uh, in a person is known as a dysgraphia. Okay. So, there is some variation in the letter formation and there is inconsistent space and uh, irregular alignment is there. Maybe that alignment can be left or sometimes it can be right also. Okay. That is while uh, writing. While writing. Okay. Next. The stage of psychomotor domain at which the skill attains its highest level of proficiency in performing an act automatically and effortlessly is... Uh, Imitation, precision, naturalization, manipulation. So, option 3, naturalization is the correct answer here. Next, psychomotor domain of Bloom's taxonomy deals with intellectual abilities, motor and manipulative skills, attitudes, values and interests, creative abilities. I think a correct answer is motor and manipulative skills. Next, the test which measures the changes that takes place among students in knowledge, understanding, application, skill, etc. So, this is a diagnostic uh, test because everything is included here, right? So, this is a diagnostic test. Next question. The statement showing behavioral outcome related to application is 
so people defines democracy recalls meaning of election draws the diagram i think uh, draws the diagram means uh, it is coming under skill right so next option people generalize the metals that metals are good conductors of electricity so i think this is a application related thing so option 4 will be the correct answer here okay next question number 80 the intelligent quotient iq range of normal children is it is 90 to 110 i think we have discussed in our class also about this next insightful learning is an example for the maxim of teaching so insightful learning is an example of maxim teaching whole two parts option one will be the correct answer here because other uh, options will not be applied here simple to complex easy to difficult concrete to abstract no whole two parts is the correct answer here next question number 82 planning a lesson is so planning a lesson is uh, always a preactive phase of teaching only okay uh, before teaching only this is uh, done so option one will be the correct answer here next in reinforcement skill clapping is an example for Positive verbal reinforcer, negative verbal reinforcer, positive non-verbal reinforcer, negative non-verbal reinforcer, positive non-verbal reinforcer because we are not talking here, right? We are just clapping. So, non-verbal thing will apply and uh, we are reinforcing a skill. So, that's why it will become positive, okay? Next question, refocusing and redirection are the components of Skill of introducing a lesson, skill of probing questions, skill of explanation, skill of stimulus variation. So, refocusing and redirection. I think it will be skill of probing questions. Okay. Option 2 will be the correct answer. Next, question number 85. The technique of evaluation used to measure the external behavior of the individual is behavior is evaluated means observation technique option 3 will be the correct answer here question number 86 evaluation showing relation between heredity and environment in developing the personality of a person is so heredity and development has to be evaluated so relation will be heredity into environment okay question number 87 the test used to compare the achievement of student with group of students of same grade it will be criterion reference test diagnostic test prognostic test norm reference test it is used to compare the achievement of student with group of students right so i think norm reference test will be the correct answer to this question Next, question number 88. In this diagram, which alphabet represent zone of proximal development ZPD according to Vygotsky? So, here, um, I think option 2 will be the correct answer. I am pretty sure about this because uh, this B only will uh, represent the zone of proximal development. Okay? Because the uh, outer circles are out of reach, right? So, I think option B will be the correct answer here. Next question. Question number 89. The students are solving a problem given by teacher. Then students belongs to which of the following stage of Piaget's cognitive development? Sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operational, formal operational. I think... Uh, formal operational stage option 4 should be the correct answer as per me okay next question wrong statements related to growth and development are so see the options we have to choose the wrong statements here growth is part of development uh, it is correct question only uh, i mean correct point only then development is part of growth mm, this is the wrong uh, point then growth is continuous but development is not continuous growth is not continuous but development is continuous this is the ulta this is also correct 
So option three, B and C should be the correct answer here because we have to give the wrong statements, right? So this finishes your child development pedagogy uh, questions part from Karnataka TET 2024 question paper. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe right now and uh, also please like the video if you are liking our work and uh, let us know in the comment section what are your views regarding the question paper and uh, child development pedagogy and the language part and maths and science part also. And we have also solved maths and uh, science already and we have uh, posted in this channel only and we have also solved the first language English part also that also we have posted. So please uh, go and watch those videos also. Uh, if you want, I will give the link of this uh, entire playlist in the description of this video. Okay. Thank you. All the best. Bye.